for the Fever comes from Tiffany Mitchell, who averages just under 12 points a game. Kia Nurse driving the lane, finds Brittany Griner, an open 17th footer is good. Well, we know. Anna coming in. That is one of the lower percentages I remember seeing in the WNBA as Brittany Griner now spinning on McCowan. She lays it up and in. Well, certainly Griner, too. Her footwork has gotten so much better. Players to go by her, but she needs help inside. Somebody's got to drop down. And thanks to our producer, David Hughes, just finding out that we have confirmed it is a right ankle sprain for Skylar Diggins-Smith. She will not. They were out on the break, and so somebody has to always be back, so transition defense just as important as the offensive glass. Brittany Griner, that post move, so tough to deal with. McCowan had no chance. Griner finishes. Look at Brittany Griner going to work in the third quarter. Andy. Yeah, she had 10 at halftime, and now she's got seven. But, boy, as you said, going to work, getting the ball inside. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation right now. Fever cannot afford to double-team her. McCowan's got four fouls, and Griner's... And the Mercury hold on defense. Well, for Marianne Stanley, Breland and Cannon are the next two tallest players for the Fever behind McCowan. And Brittany Griner can the Fever on those outside shots. And not as many second chance opportunities as well. Griner left alone after the defender Cannon hit the deck and Brittany gets it out of her hands and now gets it back. There's Griner on McCowan. Can she answer? Bodies up, puts it up and in off the glass. You know, McCowan's got five fouls. You